Hi everyone, once again welcome in our today's session. So, uh, in our last session we have uh, uh, started the chapter number 7 that is called control and coordination and in this chapter we have already uh, seen several points what is the uh, stimuli right and what are the control and coordination right how our several organs are uh, together they are working to handle such kind of the situation that is come under the coordination several kind of the organs are coming together and they will uh, do a specific function that will come under the coordination and what is stimuli whatever happening in our around the body and that will be called the stimuli to so, stimuli the coordination will be will be done and respond to the body from the body now then we have started coordination in the animals and uh, in that we have seen what are the receptors five receptors which are receiving the information uh, wh from whatever the stimuli are there whatever the situation are there then we have seen effectors uh, effectors means the same whatever the organs or the glands uh, they are affecting and they are like spinal cord through the motor nerves that we have seen in the effectors the muscles right where the actual they have to done the reaction or react then we have seen uh, types of nerves number one sensory nerve number two motor nerve sensory they are bringing the taking the message from the sense organ to the brain or spinal cord and motor nerve they are bringing back the message from the brain or spinal cord to the organs then we have seen human nervous system what uh, consists in the human nervous system is the new is the nerves and collectively number of nerves will come together with the brain and spinal cord that is called the nervous system and lastly in, in this slide we have seen the nervous system in the humans and in, we have divided into the central nervous system that is called cns and peripheral nervous system that is called pns right so now we will see in this in the slide what is cns we have already discussed it consists of the brain and spinal cord and pns that is consist of the nerves which are arising from the cranial or uh, that is called the cranial nerves which are arising from the brain and spinal nerves which are arising from the spine so that is we have seen in this uh, slide now uh, we will see these two diagrams in our next slide number one this is the central nervous system in short you can say the cns so in the central nervous system what are the two points you have to keep in mind the organs which are responsible or which are include the central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord brain everyone know what is a brain that are present in our uh, cranial cavity that are thinking power of our uh, in the body that are the organ which are responsible for thinking that are controlling to hold the body that are a very 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 important organ in our body and the second one is spinal cord and what is spinal cord the spinal cord which is arising from the brain so starting from brain up to here the spinal cord is the thing which is arising from the brain and this is actually the uh, you can say the function or this is the this is the thing which is connecting the brain to all the body with the spinal cord only our whole the body is connected with the brain this is the connection which is uh, receiving all the information and sending to the brain and whatever the orders from the brain they are bringing back to the our body so that is why this is the very important thing that is called spinal cord and they are uh, they are means very sensitive because they, they are made by the neurons and that is why it is very essential for the security because that is why we having very hard bones that is called the bone uh, cage uh, or you can say brain box so the brain box is there to protect our brain because it is very sensitive and uh, we having such kind of the vertebral column actually this thing is called vertebral column from here to here these all are the vertebras are there which are responsible to uh, provide the protection to our body that is called vertebras and this all the vertebras are come together and they will make the vertebral column because it is very important uh, to provide the protection to our spinal cord because once the cells of the uh, nerve that is called the neuron nerve cell if it is being damaged so it will not going to be recover so that is why the more protection are given to uh, the sensory nerves or whatever the nerves are there 
So, in the central nervous system you have to be just understand uh, or keep in mind that is brain and spinal cord, right? Whatever the functioning are, whatever the things are happening with the brain and spinal cord that will come under the central nervous system, this is one and uh, the second type of the nervous system that is called PNS, that is the peripheral nervous system and periphery is already I have told you. Uh, the organs like our uh, or the area of the body like hands and legs that are peripheries of the body so that the, the system or the nerves which are spreaded into the peripheries that is come under the peripheral nervous system and to that you can understand uh, this is our CNS the brain and spinal cord but whatever the peripheries which are coming out from our central system so that will come under the peripheral nervous system right so in the peripheral nervous system one by one we will see what are the things are coming out from the body these are the peripheral nervous system what are the things are connected to the spinal cord or the brain in our hands and legs so that will all come under the peripheral nervous system into that we will see one by one so number one we will see the cranial so what is the cranial nerves so the nerves go from your brain to your eyes mouth ears and other parts of your head so cranial this 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 uh, part only in your brain part or in your cranial cavity whatever the nerves are go from which are uh, coming from the brain which are attached to directly to the brain that is uh, sense uh, organs like uh, your eyes, mouth, ear or head <coughs> it will come under the cranial nerves right these are the types of the nerves that are present in your peripheral nervous system right. Number two the central nervous system into that only the nerves are in your brain and spinal cord right in your brain and your spinal cord there is also the nerves because it is made by the nerves so whatever the nerves are present in your brain and in your spinal cord right so whatever the nerves are present in your brain and spinal cord it is come under the central the nerves are coming from or go from the brain that is come under the cranial nerves and number third one is peripheral nerves peripheral nerve the nerves go from your spinal cord uh, to your arms hands and legs and feet the nerves which are go from the spinal cord to your arms this is your spinal cord and whatever the nerves they will uh, moving or they are going from your from your spinal cord that is called peripheral nerves this is your spinal cord so from this spinal cord whatever the nerves are going from your spinal cord to your hands and legs so that is called the peripheral nerves right because they are going into the peripheries or peripheral areas and number four autonomic nerves now what is autonomic nerve the nerves go from your spinal cord to your lungs heart stomach intestine bladder and sex organ this is called under the autonomic Auto, what is mean by autonomic which is uh, work automatically right this is not uh, work by our will it's not uh, coming under our control we, are, we don't have to be give order or commands to your lungs for breathing, to your heart for uh, contractation, relaxation, to your stomach to do the digestion, to your intestine or to your bladder or sex organs that will control by your brain. So that is it will come under the autonomic right. So this is the nerves that is uh, come into the autonomic nerve, nerve system or autonomic nerves that are starting from your brain or spinal cord or from your spinal cord to your all the organs uh, that will come under the autonomic nervous system because these functions are not in our control this is uh, controlled by your brain only when you need more oxygen when you uh, your heart have to be contract and relax more when you have to digest how you have to digest this is not our issue means uh, it's not in our control we cannot uh, we do not have to give the orders for this kind of the functions so that will come under the brain only so that is why it will come under the autonomous so in the peripheral nervous system you have to uh, keep in your mind that is the some nerves that are 
arising uh, from your brain or from your spinal cord and that is again divided into that uh, central, cranial and peripheral and autonomous. So, these all are under come under the peripheral nervous system that is called PNS, right. Once again I will just remind you what is CNS, the central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system, the nerves that is arising from your brain and spinal cord that is come under the peripheral nervous system, cranial uh, nerves and spinal nerves, okay, understood. Now we will uh, move towards the next slide that is very important and that is nerve cell. Up to here so many times we have said the words that is uh, new, uh, nerve cell or the nerves, cranial nerves or spinal nerves and we have seen the structure also these are all the nerves are spread in our body. So, now the question is arise ke how these nerves are made. Already we have seen uh, that uh, cell are the basic and function and structural unit of our body, right? In our, we, in our previous classes, you have studied about that. We having different kind of the cells are there, right? Blood cells are there, and you have seen the nerve cell or neuron in your previous classes. So the all the neurons are come together, right? All our neurons will come together and they will make the nerves. So, this all the network of the nerves they consist of neuron, they are made by the neurons. The number of the neurons are come together and they will join together and they will make this kind of the nerves that are spreaded in your body and all the systems or all the organs which are coming in this uh, nervous system they are made by this cell. This is the diagram of your nerve cell that is called neuron. Neuron is a proper name for your nerve cell. This is the actual diagram of your nerve cell. Uh, you can be see like this. This is the neuron, and uh, this uh, is a very important cell. And why it is called important cell? Because all the activities or uh, other cell can be means multiply. Other cell can be divided into uh, into new cells. But this neuron will be once it will damage, it will. Uh, not recovered. So, that is why it is very sensitive and this is uh, the neuron is responsible to bring the messages and they will uh, from one after another the all the neurons are attached together and that is why it will make the nerves. So, number of nerves a number of neuron they will come together and they will make the nerves. So, what is actually here neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system as we are telling a cell is a structure and function unit of a body. So, like that we can say the definition of the neuron, the neuron is the structural and functional unit of nervous system because number of neuron will make the nervous system or nerves and this is each and every neuron is working that is that is called the functional unit and also the structural unit because it is making the structure of our nervous system. So, it has a cell body. Now, what is uh, the content of this? It is having the cell body that is called cyton containing a nucleus and cytoplasm. So, this is the cell body. Cell body contains the nucleus and cytoplasm, right? This is the nucleus of our your uh, neuron cell and up to this part it is called the cell body. This part is called cell body. In the cell body, it consists of nucleus. It is written here. This is the nucleus and the cytoplasm this the all the colorful part is here this is called the cytoplasm <coughs> in our normal cell we have seen in the circular shape what are the jelly like structure which are present into inside our uh, cell that is all come under that but here this is uh, present in the uh, cell body so that is the nucleus and the plasma so this is all under coming the into the a cyton this is come together we will say this is the cyton uh, so it is consist of it is had the body uh, called the cyton containing the nucleus and cytoplasm so this is the nucleus and this is the cytoplasm they come together and they will make the cell body right so this is cell body after that it has a long nerve fiber right and uh, several branches structure are called the dendrites it has a several branches structure which is called the dendrites. Now, what is the dendrites? 
these are the dendrites which is uh, arising from the cell body like hair like structures are there so that is called the dendrites these all are the structure or branch structure that are arise from the cell body that is called dendrites and it has a long so the next it has a long nerve fiber that is called the axon this is the long nerve fiber which is arising from the cell body so that is called axon right so this is actually called the axon which is mentioned here it is a long structure <coughs> that are starting from your cell body and ending to the nerve end so uh, this long structure is called axon which is covered by the protective covering called myelin this is the uh, structure you can see the circular structure are there this 1 2 and 3 with the circular structure that is called myelin sheath this is the myelin sheath which is the circular structure which is making uh, all like circles are there so this circles is nothing but it is a protection that is protecting to our axon and that is protecting to our nerve so that is called the myelin or myelin sheath right and the junction between the neuron is called the synapse what is mean by the junction between neuron because this is the one neuron and after this is one only this is the single cell after that this neuron is attached to some other cell so where it is attached they are attached at the end where the nerve endings are there this is called the nerves ending this the ending parts are there it is called nerve ending from here the new cell will be start so this there is the some a gap or there is some junction you can say between two neurons that is called synapse so we will see in the detail in uh, the next slide also that is called synapse that is actually the junction from there the one neuron is attached to the another neuron okay with the the last ending of the nerve ending they are attached to the next cell with dendrites or the cell body so that is called <coughs> a synapse that is the point of junction so this is the structurally diagram or structurally we have seen what is a neuron now what will happen and how it is work so message passes through the nerve cells in the form of chemical and electric signals called the nerve impulse now this is uh, the cell which are present in all the body in the form of nerves so suppose we are taking the example of your skin so there are some neurons are present in your skin they are starting from the skin so skin is already we have seen that is a uh, sense organ so whatever the stimuli whatever the situation it will uh, come to know for the skin like very hot object very cold object so that all the information they are received here to the dendrites these dendrites will receive the information because they are attached to our sense organ and these dendrites will convert this information into chemical form or electrical signals that is called impulse so now what is impulse impulse is a language or impulse is a form of language which can be understand by our nerves which can be transferred from your from your sense organ to your brain that is called impulse so whatever the information that are received by the dendrites the dendrites will convert that information into the electrical impulses and these all electrical impulses will transfer now this information from one neuron to another neuron and it will reach up to the brain and brain will understand this language of of the chemical impulse or impulse language then again in the same form the impulse form the information from the brain will come to get, come to our uh, organs and the organs will be moved so that is called the impulse the dendrites receive the information and starts a chemical reaction which produces the electrical impulses which passes through the axon whatever the information information in the form of uh, stimuli uh, what is happening around the body they will receive dendrites will receive the information and start chemical reaction which produces the electric impulses and that electrical impulses will generate they will uh, take by the den, uh, dendrites and that a message will be reach up to the ending that is called nerve ending then again it will throw the synapse it will transfer or the, the signal will be jumped to the next neuron and like this all the neurons they make the nerve and this nerve will take the message from the body to the brain from brain to organs so that is a system how our body uh, or how our cell will generate the impulse form and how it is transferred from one place to 
another place so that is all come in this so that is very important i request all the students to just draw this diagram of the neuron and understand and remember the names of a different parts of this neuron dendrites then uh, cell body which consists of the nucleus nucleus and cytoplasm then axon and to cover the axons to provide the protection to the axon there is a myelin sheath and finally it is ending here that is called the axon terminal these are the endings nerves and also you can say and axon terminals you can also say so this is a structure of the neuron and how the information will generate and pass this is uh, our neuron dendrites will receive the information from our uh, sense organ then dendrites will convert that uh, all the information into the chemical form or you can say the impulse and that impulse will be travel from the cell body through the axon and reach to the nerve end or nerve uh, terminal axon terminal from there one more neuron is attached and the attachment it is called the synapse and again the same thing will happen and like this all the neurons they are attached together and they will make the nerves and brain will receive the messages right so in the next slide also we can see what are the structure and <coughs> how it is uh, what are the organs and uh, what are the names of uh, special parts of our neuron that already we have discussed in the in the last slide the gap between this uh, uh, axons that is also called the node of ranvier now we will go through the for the next slide i have uh, all the students have draw this uh, picture of neuron or the diagram of the neuron so here we will discuss about the transmission of the message through the neuron how one neuron will means exactly if uh, we can consider the first neuron which is uh, attached to our sense organ and it has been <coughs> received the information from the sense organ that is called the presynaptic cell right why we are telling it is a presynaptic cell because i told you from one neuron to another neuron there is a gap or the or the joint from one neuron this is one neuron and this is a second neuron so actually this is the point where the one neuron is attaching to the second neuron so that place is called the synapse right where the signal uh, will jump from one neuron to another neuron that is attachment of one neuron to another neuron so one neuron of nerve ending that is attached to a cell body of another neuron right or dendrites of the other neuron so the first cell is called first cell is called presynaptic cell and second cell is called post synaptic cell right presynaptic post synaptic first neuron where the information is generated and second neuron where it is uh, receive the signal whatever the signals are there information are there in the form of impulse and that like this it will continue up to the brain if it is uh, bringing the information from the sense organ so one by one the neurons are attached together and they will make the nerve and this nerves are just uh, go through this and it will reach to the brain and brain finally get the message what is happening in our hands in our legs in our peripheries so if you experience you are uh, you are doing the pinch in any part of the body so your brain come to know you come to know okay, what will happen in the body so that is why this is the system and in this system we will just discuss detail how the information will be travel from one cell to another cell so as i told you here this is the dendrites and this dendrite this part it is attached to our sense uh, sense organ so here the information whatever the uh, stimuli are there it is detected by the dendrites and the dendrites is uh, convert this information into impulse form right and now this is the cell body in the cell body it will consist of uh, nucleus this is the nucleus and this is all the cell body this is having the cytoplasm and nucleus so the information is travel from here and from the axon this is the axon how the information is traveling this is the way or uh, to transfer the impulse or the information from one neuron and then finally it is uh, reach here that is called the synaptic terminal this is the synaptic terminals and this is the synapse where 
the first neurons uh, nerve endings they are attached to the another neuron cell body through the dendrites and that is uh, a way how the signal is, tra is travel from one neuron to another neuron right and this is the axon so this is the process when uh, one cell will receive the message and they will convert into the impulse form in the electrical signal or that impulse will be travel through the first neuron the first neuron will attach to the another neuron at the junction point that is called the synapse and from where the same signal will be continue towards the another neuron like this now this all the information will move towards the next neuron and like this all the information will be travel from one neuron to another neuron and it will make the chain and uh, finally the message which is generated from our sense organ whatever the sense organ are there skin tongue nose ears eyes so this uh, all the information that is generated into the impulse form and that is uh, travel uh, from one cell from one neuron to another neuron and it is reached to the brain so then our brain will come to know what are the situation are there how we understand uh, where, when we have kept our hand in some hot object or i have tested a something sweet uh, food or i am i am smelling something dirty smell or uh, i am having some kind of the pressure on my skin someone is uh, prick to my skin so this is all the information how it is generated from the dendrites and travel one by one to from one neuron to another neuron and our brain will be receive the message after receiving the message in the brain our brain will work on it and as per the information received by the our uh, neurons it will take the decision we will take the decision what we have to do in this situation and whatever the decisions of the brain they will again provide it to this kind of the nerves so already i have told you that is called motor nerves so if we talk about this nerves so it will go and uh, it will go under the uh like uh, the nerves they are bringing they are taking the message that is called sensory nerves sensory nerves they are taking the message from the ner from sensory organ to the brain so this will be we uh, come into the category of sensory nerves and when the situation is opposite the it is starting from the brain so it is called the motor nerve so like the motor nerve also having the same process uh, the the nerves they are uh, or the neurons they are present into that uh, motor nerve they are bringing the message like this from one neuron to another neuron and it will be a continuous chain uh, like motor nerve and finally they are and are they are ending on to the muscles or to the tissue or to some kind of the glands where we have to do the function that is a action site or site of action so where the message will reach and our muscles will be uh, do the movement and with the help of the muscles or organs we will do the movement we will uh, take a necessary decision what is uh, required in the particular situation to jump to remove the hands from the hot object or to run from the place so whatever the function will uh, or the decision we have to take that will be provided by the brain so it will uh, bring back with the help of motor neurons so this is the process actually how the signals is how the impulses are getting transfer from one place to another place so that is very very important uh, topics we have to be keep in the mind how the impulse is generated how it is transferred to the one neuron to another neuron and how it is finally uh, reached to the brain and uh, how the brain is giving the orders and that will come back to the our uh, organs and our organs uh, or the muscles that will move right so this all the points are very very important that are new points for you so i request all the students uh, which are attending this class write down the important points uh, draw the diagrams where it is necessary and uh, in the homework just write down or just a uh, draw a diagram of this neuron and write down uh, what is stimuli what is mean by coordination and uh, what is uh, nervous system how it is divided into the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system what is cns and what is pns and uh, how the process of transferring the impulse how the process to make the impulse in the first cell of the neuron and then how it is traveling from one neuron to another neuron these all points you just write in your notebooks and uh, we will start in our next session
whatever the remaining points are there whatever points we have to cover we will uh, cover in our next lecture and uh, up to that just uh, do one uh, remind all the points and take care bye